Okay, so I'm going to try to make a quick little video here for anyone who listened to last night's show and heard the story at the end about my strange visitor slash peeping Tom. Um, so I'm sitting here and I'm doing the show. The mic's right here. Um, and it was at the next to the last mic break when I was going to play uh, the King's X track. And so I'm looking pretty much this way, but now I have to add a couple things. For one, the visibility is actually not as bad as it looks on this camera. Maybe if I get a little closer, you can see that you can actually see out there when the blinds are like that. Um, normally, both of these blinds on Sundays are completely closed. At about 7.30 or so, I will go over there and open one set, the ones on the right. And the reason I do that is because Peak will be arriving shortly, and if I can keep an eye out for her, then I can let her in without her having to knock on the door and possibly interrupt my break. Okay, so, um, so I'm sitting here and I'm looking and like I said, it's hard to see from my actual point of view because you really can't tell that you can see anything on the camera, but you can. As you get closer to it, you can actually see there's quite a bit of visibility. Now, it's about uh, 10 to 6 now and it's about 7.30, so it's a little bit darker. And actually, the blinds may have been just a fair bit more open. But anyway, I look over and I see this person, um, best of my description, a little old lady, stood about this tall. You can kind of see her vaguely over the uh, stenciling of the, on the window. And that was one of the things that her face was kind of obscured. But um, it appeared that she had glasses. I could not really make out a, a, a hair color or anything like that. It's as if it may have been pulled back. So as I'm seeing this, I'm talking. And if you go back and listen to that part of the show, you can hear me kind of get sidetracked. And at this point in time, I'm thinking that it's just somebody. So another quick disclaimer I got to add, I was talking about people pressing their faces up against the window. That was just embellishment for the radio. No one actually pressed their face up against the glass. At this point in time, I figured I'm going to go out there. It's going to be somebody thinking we're open or whatnot or asking for directions or whatever. So I really didn't think anything of it. So, you know, when I held my hand up, and this is exactly what I did, I was nearing the end, I was almost ready to click the button and play the, the, the tune, and so she keeps looking at me, so I held my hand up like this, as if to say, hang on a minute, you know, give me just a second, hang on a minute, alright? When I did, she appeared to acknowledge it, and she went this way, and disappeared out of my frame of sight. So, I announced the track, started playing the track. That probably, from the time that she disappeared and from the time that the track started playing was probably no more than 10, 15 seconds at the very maximum. Um, I immediately got up, walked around here, came out here, opened the door, looked out here, and there was absolutely nobody out here. Now, now for one thing, my car wasn't here car is not here on Sundays. But if you look at this place, now all these businesses were closed. There is absolutely nowhere for anyone to slip away. And as I said, she went over here. Um, down there they're doing massive road construction. You can't even get by down there. Um, this road, as you can see, still doing massive road construction. We're pretty much out here in the middle of nowhere, and especially now that the road's all torn up, it's pretty impossible. So the first thing I did is I ran back here while the music's playing, while the King's X song's playing, because it's dawning on me that she may have slipped behind the building. Now, this is the back of the place. Again, it would have taken a good while to come around here and walk all the way around to the very end down there. So, unless she went into the woods, so then, I walk around here again, trying to figure out where this person has gone. And I even went as so far, I think there was two of these uh, Comfort Keeper cars out there. I even went so far as to walk out there and look behind them, just in case somebody may have been screwing with me and she may have been 
ducked down behind one of the cars. There was no one behind the cars. And again, as you can see, it is really hard to slip away like that. You know, I would have checked behind my car, but of course my car wasn't here yesterday, so. Um, so yeah, I'm out here going, hello, hello, hello. And nothing, nobody. Never got a really good look at the person because again, I was on the air and I was actually talking the entire time that I was watching this person, I was actually talking. And so again, the mic being right here, I can only turn my head so far, you know, but out of my, I, I could, I was, I had my head sideways once I saw there was somebody at the window watching me do a mic break basically. <laughs> so that's it. That's my strange story. Um, Yep, happened uh, September 18th, 2016, at around, uh, I'm guessing around 7.35, 7.36, somewhere in there. Uh, go back and listen to the show, it's before the King's X song, the mic break, right before that. And then the story, I go back and I tell it at the end. So, there you go. There's my strange story from the <laughs> Vape It Up Studios. <laughs>